Sure enough, thank you. One of the things that you said, Mr. Phillips, was that, is that you had a contractual obligation to Michael Jackson. That is correct. And so I assume by that you were suggesting that AEG would never pull the plug on the tour. I'll overrule the objection. You may answer it. Okay. It's not a, it's not a unilateral thing for us to pull the plug, that we had a contractual obligation to Michael. Michael had one to us. This is something that we would have had to mutually have decided upon. Was, was, was it your understanding that AEG was on the hook for the cost of the production so far up Jackson. until June 22nd, 2009? Objection relevance. Right? Overruled. You may answer it. Okay. Would you please tell me what on the hook means? Well, Michael Jackson was ultimately responsible for the production costs up until June 20, 25, 2009. Isn't that right? Yes. Contractually, he was responsible for that. Correct. And the cost of what he was responsible for was in the tens of Objection millions of dollars. Your Honor, based on the court's prior The objection is sustained. You, your, however, AEG had cancellation insurance. Objection relevance based on the court's prior ruling. Sustained. It, Is it your testimony, Mr. Phillips, that Kenny Ortega, out of nowhere, used terms like pull the plug and tough love in his email? Objection calls for speculation. I'll overrule the objection. Okay. Um, when you say out of nowhere, I'm, I wasn't in Kenny's mind, okay? I don't know what his mens rea was when he said that. I wasn't at the rehearsal, okay? I was, I was responding to his email. Is it your uh, understanding that Kenny Ortega was, was insane? Objection, argumentative. He in, says, no. in just a moment, please. Sustain. Partial answers. You, he said, we have tried tough love, and the email was directed to you, right? Right. He said, objection, beyond the scope, relevance. I'll, I'll overrule the objection. Finish your question, please. He said, pulling the plug would hurt Michael Jackson. He directed that to you, right? That is correct. Pulling the plug is the words that he used, right? That is correct. Did you respond to Kenny Ortega's email? Objection asked and answered. Overall. I don't remember responding to his e email other than setting up the meeting uh, when I got the call from Frank DeLeo that he thought we should have this meeting at the house on the 20th. And then Frank DeLeo called you. Yes. Is that right? Now, when you spoke to Dr. Murray about Arnold Klein, I believe on, re, the re, on cross, you said that Dr. Murray appeared to acknowledge, he acknowledged hearing what I was saying. Is that what you're, you remember? Correct. Did, other than telling Dr. Murray that Michael Jackson was seeing Dr. Klein. Did you, did you add anything to that at all? Not that I remember, no. What is it about the meeting on June, uh, first week of June, that led you to feel, feel like you had to share that with Dr. Murray? Because of the, there were two instances. There was the prior meeting I discussed where we had a production meeting with Michael, which was a, a sort of a routine meeting at the house and he seemed distracted and not focused on what we were talking about, which was the first time I'd ever seen him not laser focused on, on what the show was and what we were doing. So you thought that was Dr. Klein's fault or part of, Dr. Klein, part of his visit to Dr. Klein? It's not what I said. All right, well, are you, what, what, what I, are you saying? What I said is when I left the house, I went to Michael Meir and asked him, is Michael okay? because of the, of the lack of focus on the meeting, and he said he just came from Dr. Klein, just like that. You asked Michael Amir if Michael Jackson was okay? Yeah. Based on the fact that he appeared distracted? Yes. Just distracted? Not, not, fo not focused. There was another time that you called Michael Amir and asked to speak to Michael Jackson, That's right? the second. That's the second time, correct. And during that occasion, he says, no, he's, he can't speak to you? He, he said we couldn't have the meeting uh, because he had just come from Dr. Klein's office. And there was another time that you were shown a bill from Dr. Klein from Frank DeLeo. It wasn't Frank DeLeo. Well, who showed you the bill? Uh, Michael Kane, who had become Michael Jackson's business manager um, and was 
brought in by, I believe, Frank DeLeo. And it was for a six-week period of time? Yes, Your Honor. I'll allow counsel. It, it, was, it was for a six-week period of time, you recall? You know, I, I don't remember if it was six weeks or three months or I think it was from, it was uh, 2009. So whatever that period was, 2009. Do you recall I, what the bill amount was? That yeah. relevance, Your Honor. Sustained. The partial answer is stricken. Did, did the amount shock you? Were you surprised by the amount? Objection. Relevant. Sustained. Another subject. Why were you presented the bill? Objection, relevance, speculation, beyond the scope. The objection is sustained on the speculation <coughs> objection. All right. Well, I have no other questions. Thank you. Mr. Chernoff, thank you. We cross? No, thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. May Mr. Phillips be excused, Mr. Chernoff? Yes, sir. Mr. Uh, Walgren? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Ms. Phillips, I want to thank you for your testimony. Sir, please don't discuss your testimony or the facts of the case with any other witness until we finish the trial. You may step down. You may leave. Thank, thank you, you, Your Honor. Sir. Thank you, Your Honor. You're welcome. May I see counsel?